Hi guys, my name is Bala Francis. Today I'm going to show you how to identify market structure. I'm going to show you how you can make use of market structure to improve your trading. I believe market structure is one of the things that improved my trading. So basically, there are two types of market structure. We have the bullish and bearish market structure. Remember that in a bullish market structure, we anticipate or we expect price to be in a bull run. We expect that price would buy in a bullish market structure. And then we are going to examine how to identify a bearish market structure signatures that we see that tells us that price is bearish, that the market structure is bearish. Okay? So, if you stay till the end of this video, I'm going to take you to my screen and show you how to identify these structures. There are three ways you can identify market structure, but I'm going to show you one of the most reliable forms of identifying and using market structure. We are going to use the candle wick to identify structure and the candle body to identify break of structure. Remember, I said candle wick for structure and then candle body for break of structure. So guys, let's get to business. So, like I said, we have two basic types of structure. We have a bullish market structure and a bearish market structure. And in a bullish market structure, we love to see price showing willingness to break old highs and keeps forming what is called higher highs and higher lows in a bullish market structure. The characteristic of a bullish market structure is that we love to see price showing willingness to break old highs and keeps forming higher highs and higher lows. In a bearish market structure, we love to see price showing willingness to break old lows and keeps forming lower lows and lower highs. These are what makes up these two structures. Okay guys, so quickly let me show you from here. Um, so assuming that we are drawing a bullish market structure, okay, bullish market structure we said that in the bullish market structure in a bullish market structure we love to see price shows willingness to form higher highs and higher lows higher highs higher lows Higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. This is what forms, or this is what makes up a bullish market structure. The ability of price to keep to keep breaking old highs, old highs. So this high is broken by the time price retraces and is coming down, is expanding. It breaks this high to form another high called higher high because this high is greater than this high is higher than this high this high is higher than this high then we see another high that is above the previous high that's how we know that price is what concurrently bullish because we see price failing to break the old lows if you take note you see that price has not been able to take out these lows this 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 low was unable to take out this so this low was higher than this low so it's called higher low the next low was higher than the previous low it's called higher low higher low higher low so what do you have here you have a higher low you have a higher low here you have a higher low we have a higher low. We have a higher low. This is what we now call a bullish market structure. But you see, there are key things we need to take note within this structure so we know which one is the valid high of the valid structure and when do we have a break of structure. These are the key things we need to know. So, but this is what makes up a bullish market structure 
higher highs and higher lows makes up a bearish market structure. Then what then makes up a bearish market structure? Let's find out what makes up a bearish market structure. In a bearish market structure, like I said earlier, we love to see price showing willingness to take out old lows and keeps forming price should keep forming price should be able to take out old lows and keep forming lower lows and lower highs that is what makes up a bearish market structure so when you have a low we love to see price retrace come back to take out the previous low okay have a low love to see price retrace come down to take out the previous low retrace again come down to take out the previous low do you see that this is what forms a bearish market structure the ability of price to keep breaking the lows old lows you see that this is a lower low this is a lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high because this low was lower than this and then this high was lower than the previous low okay lower lows lower highs price is unable to take up this high but is showing willingness to take out the previous low lower low lower high lower low lower high so this is what makes up the bearish market structure the ability of price to keep forming lower lows and lower highs is what makes up this bearish market structure so now we are going to now closely look at the things that we use as index to val validify or verify a valid structure and when we have a break in market structure okay so guys um like i said we are going to be using we are going to be using the candle week for to identify structure and the candle bodies for break of structure candle week for st structure and then candle body for what break of structure that's what we are going to be doing candle week for structure candle body or candle close for break of structure so that means when you see the week, where we use the week for structure, this is what I mean. You will already know that the, the candlestick has a body, it has a week, it has a high, it has a low. So what we are interested in using as an index to mark out structure is the week. Week for what? Structure. When you see the week, it's used to identify structure. But then the candle body is used to identify break of structure. Break of structure. Or BMS. Or also, uh, what is it called? BOS. It's either a BOS, break of structure, a break in market structure. Yes, we use the candle body to identify break in market structure and we use the week to identify structure so let's go to the chart quickly as i show you so this is um a chart on the daily time frame a chart of euro usd daily time frame. okay guys i'm going to be using this to mark out my structure and then so um we are going to start from somewhere around here 
okay now what do we have here price was actually consolidating all through here this was a range this was a range of consolidation and then we see price formed a low here the weak to identify structure remember weak for what structure candle body break of structure right now this was our last low this was the last high that pushed price to form this low when i say last high i'm talking of the last bullish candle that pushed price lower this was the last bullish candle that pushed price lower so that that was our last high that means we'll be marking this as the last high that pushed price lower so this was our last lower high lower low okay another lower high but this time around price failed to form a lower low price was previously bullish here price has been forming higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs then price broke this structure why because the body of the candle closed below the last structure what was the last structure here the last bullish structure this was it now so why did i use this as a structure because i used the weak to identify structure the weak of this candle the last candle that pushed price higher was broken by the body of the candle the body of the candle closed below that structure that means we had a bearish structure this entire trend has changed from being bullish to bearish in the meantime okay so i'll be looking to sell this intraday or whatever so as this was happening okay we now see that price had formed a low now we are seeing price forming highs it has formed another higher high, high. then price is forming higher low price has formed another higher high higher high okay now remember that we said this was the last high that pushed price lower this was the last high that pushed price lower this was the last high that pushed price lower so we are going to check closely and see whether the body of the candle has closed above that high yes obviously we see that it has the body of the candle here has closed above that last high so what do we now have we have a shift in market structure this trend has changed from being bearish short term to now bullish that means we are about to see a bullish run price has shifted from being bearish to bullish there's a shift in market structure here why because we see price broke the last the last high that pushed price lower so now we have we now see price forming what higher lows higher high higher lows now look at this this is the next higher low where's the next higher high this one the last high that pushed price lower do you see that we have a higher low okay now this low only becomes valid when it breaks this last high this is when this low becomes valid so we now see this low push price to break to take out the last high where when this body of the candle close above this high we now have another structure so this low this is now our next low no longer this because this low has sponsored price in taking out the last high okay we are identifying structure this is our next low where is our next high our next high look at it this one why because it is the high that push price lower 
remember that in a bullish trend we don't want to see price take out the old low we want to see price take out old highs now this last low was the low that sponsored price in taking out this last high what do you have breaking market structure breaking market structure bullish okay breaking market structure bullish so we are following price now where's our next high that's our next high price retraced to form the next what low price form the next low okay this was the last low that pushed price to take out the last high again breaking market structure bullish price is still bullish price is still bullish so where's your next high that's your next high where's your next low this low that push price to take out the last high so you see how we are using the weak candle week to identify structure and the body of the candle to identify breaking market structure candle week for structure candle bodies to identify breaking market okay candle week for structure candle body to identify break of breaking market structure now look at this the body of the candle has closed above the previous high so what do you have bullish now remember again i said in a bullish market structure we don't want to see price take out the last low okay we don't want to see price take out higher lows we love to see price taking out higher highs and respect old lows then we see now that price has failed to respect the trend as it's supposed to be price has taken out the old low why the body of the candle has closed below that last low what do you have you have a breaking market structure from bullish to what bearish so what you have now can be is called a shifting market structure so we are no longer interested in seeing buy trades we want to now start selling because there is a shift in market structure from bullish to what bearish price took out the last high but couldn't respect the last low so we have a shift in market structure this trend has changed from bearish from bullish i mean to say to bearish that's how you know that a trend has changed and guys look at this from this time price has been selling remember that we are on the daily time frame this is on the daily time frame of euro usd charts okay we are on the daily time frame look at how price has been falling drastically so let's keep chasing price and see when this trend is going to end in a bearish market structure we say we love to see price form what higher highs i mean lower lows and lower highs lower lows lower highs so lower low lower high lower low lower high remember remember as long as the body of the candle does not close above this high there is no breaking market structure so some of you may want to think that this is a breaking market structure no it's not true because the body of the candle has not closed above this last high remember we are using the body of the candle to identify breaking market structure so this week was a run on liquidity above this equal high this all this was an equal high there was liquidity residing above this equal high the body of the candle you see they are relatively equal so price ran the liquidity above this it took all the liquidity above this the buy side liquidity and the trend continued bearish so what do you have again when do you have the next low here okay why we love to see the body of the candle close below the last low because we are in a bearish trend so now i know we are still what bearish we are bearish guys we are bearish this is our, ne our next high our next low this is our next low you see guys body of the candle is always closing below the last lows but it's finding it difficult to go and take out the last high 
That is how we know that we are in a bearish trend. So what was our last high? This was our last high. Okay, you can use either this or this. The last bullish candle here that took our liquidity below that low. So do we have a breaking market structure? Yes. We are at the point where I see the body of the candle close above that high. That high here. Now I know that this trend has shifted from being bearish to what bullish. There's a shift in market structure. So let's keep chasing. Let's keep following price and see what price is doing. Okay. Price retraced. Formed another high. There's another low here. There's another high. There's another low here. Price is what? Bullish. Why? Because the body of the candle is finding it difficult to close below the last lows or old lows, but is finding it easy to take out old highs. So all these highs, this high was taken, this high was taken, this high was taken while the body of the candle has closed above it. The lows you see are being respected, right? Our next high. Sorry, this is our next high. Our next low. Our next high. So, price went into consolidation here, but we can still find something reasonable here. This was our last high. Where's the last low? Price pushed lower. You see that? Now, price went up but couldn't take out the last high. So now I am I know that something is is about to happen because price is finding it difficult to close above the last high. It did here, so this was our last high. Price is finding it difficult to close above that high. Price came down went up but couldn't take out that high so what i have now is okay i'm going to pay attention to what's about to happen here then i see price quickly run down and close below the last structure that week once i see this i now know that i have a shift in market structure from bullish to what bearish the trend has changed where is the last high that sponsored price to break structure this was it this was the last high that pushed price lower to close below that structure. Okay, so now we are what? Bearish. Lower highs. Lower lows. Because this low is lower than that low, right? You need to know that price is fractal. And when you go to lower time frames, you will see these same things happening the same way on other time frames. Okay? You see the same way on the other time frames lower time frames when drawing structure sometimes you may need to go above or below the time frame that you are drawing structure to have more clarity 